Every time I hear the stock market summary at the end of the day, I chuckle to myself. From my point of view, the market is no more real than a desert mirage, yet it appears to many people to be the primary indicator of economic well-being. Not for Praveer Malik, author of Redesigning the Stock Market. Praveer, president of a company that specializes in helping organizations minimize the negative impact that stress has on productivity and performance, he has extended that analysis to the stock market. A deeply spiritual man as well, Praveer has spent great deals of time contemplating what it would take to bring some healthy reality back into the stock market. But first, he researched exhaustively into how the market has descended into a shadow of what it once was. You're looking at the markets now through this, this fractal approach, which has to do with three phases of development. Yes. The yes. physical, the vital, and the mental. Yes. And this has really deeply rooted uh, sane spiritual principles behind it as well. Yes. Can you give us a brief description of the physical phase, the vital phase, and the mental phase, and examples of what that would look like in a market structure? Sure. So. The, the most, uh, the simplest way that I can describe it is by thinking about a journey that a seed makes in becoming a flower. So if we think about that, there's three stages of development. There's a seed, there's a stalk, which is a middle stage, and then there's a flower, which is a culmination. So the seed, if we look at the seed, it's really a finite, closed entity that apparently has very little activity, it, it, it maintains its status quo until it's germinated. And so when we think about the physical, it's this impulse to keep things as they are, um, much like the seed, so remain at a status quo level, keep the rules that had been operating in the past. Like the gold standard. Like the gold standard, exactly. OK, yes, so that would right. be a, an example of the physical, the physical stage. Yes. Very stable. Very stable. There's yes. not a lot of room for growth or rapid growth out of it, per se. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's right. The okay. vital stage is like that stalk or the middle stage where there's, um, and the stalk is just meant to be a metaphor, but mm -hmm. it's, there's a lot more assertiveness in that growth. And if you think about, about the seed growing, uh, there is relatively a lot more assertiveness. And um, there's a whole root structure. There's a tendril structure that's created. There's a lot more exchange with the environment, gases, nutrients exchanged. Um, so there's a lot more activity. It may not be ordered activity, but there is activity, and it could. It's kind of the foundation of aggressiveness and of wanting to appropriate things for one's own small self in a certain way. For so its that, own assurance of growth and survival. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's I think the Darwinian uh, notion of uh, competitiveness, mm -hmm. and very much when we think about uh, markets today, it's it's really about that. Um, each player existing for its own self or trying to appropriate resources to aggrandize its, its own notion of, of what it exists for. And that's kind of that vital phase, uh, that middle phase. And then the, the mental phase is where there's a culmination. So that idea that existed in a dormant state in the seed now has a chance to uh, show itself. And so there is a uniqueness that comes out. There's purpose. There's intent. And that's, um, I think, very well uh, captured by this notion of, of a flower that, that also could be unique. It has intent, it has purpose, it has mystery, it has depth. While still being yes. connected to its original seed source. Yes, yes, yes. while still being connected, absolutely. Yes. For anyone who has wondered about the health of the stock market itself, this is a very enlightening interview. You can see the full-length conversation at cmn.tv.